I remember the only thing that ever broke me mentally doing something physical was running a marathon. Now, needless to say, I ran that marathon the last four miles with a broke foot and did not know. And that's why I was going crazy in my mind. Um, but that was the, that's why I broke because I actually broke, <laughs> broke my foot. But I remember thinking I can't go home. Like I had people waiting for me at the finish line. I'm like, I, I'm going to start a new life. Like I can't, I can't not, not show up, but I don't think I can show up, you know? Mm. And I persevered and it was one of the greatest feelings I've ever felt. So with everything around me feeling like it's, it's falling apart, I went to that moment of what broke me. And I was like, I wanted to not only meet that challenge, but defeat that challenge and dominate that challenge. So I decided to run four marathons in five months. So I began to train in Spain and I'm, it was emotional. It was emotional for me because I was by myself and I had to deal with me and I had to challenge myself in a way when I didn't want to get up, when I didn't want to do these things. And I celebrated, you know, it was, you would have thought I was running against a hundred people out there in my mind. Cause it was a, it was a challenge. I was running against a hundred versions of myself and the one that I wanted to win, I had to, I had to get through that because it was so many different ideas and directions I could have taken myself. But this, this one in the head of the race is the one I got to win because this is what I need to be. And when I tell you, it was, it was life changing in Spain. That's why Spain has my heart and coming back. And it's been just, incredible ever since like it's been incredible ever since like sneakerheads has been dropping like all of these different projects is happening you know i'm currently shooting a show called heels you know everything on the personal side is better like it's just sometimes you got to go through things and it's a part of life so we need tools to help deal with them and running is the tool that helped me and i'm just looking to influence other people to do the same you know running your first marathon is is so much more than just being in shape and everyone that I run because I anybody that wants to run a marathon for their first time I, I'm, I'm running with them like I'm running with them just, just because I want to be able to support you but then I always leave them at mile 20 because I always say that last six mile is a personal journey like it's that. a personal journey where you're going to be you're going to want to quit you're going to want to say no you want to you're going to believe that you can't and the feeling you feel when you finish that, that, that when you cross that finish line and everything in you, not outside of you, because you're used to dealing with people outside of you saying you can't do something. It's usually yourself, you're, you're kind of your, your biggest champion. When your biggest champion is your biggest enemy and you defeat that, you get to a place where you feel invincible. You get to a place where no matter what, when I decide what I want to do, I can do it. And that's a superpower. I love it, bro. I, yeah, I'm with you. I'm right there with you. I developed that a while back in entrepreneurship with different companies and just, you know, I don't know. Nothing will ever change anymore. I feel like it's inherent to who I am now. And I kind of love that. And I have it. And it's a super power, yeah. like you said. And it's a, it's a thing of like when you're in, and it's in the same sense when you're running a marathon, it's like, what does complaining do for me? Right. It does nothing. I'm still, I still got to run this thing. I still got to keep moving. I can't stop. What does complaining do? So you, you tend to find yourself focusing on the resolution rather than the problem. Right. And that's something that I feel is this, you know, is similar in both stories. It's like, I could focus my energy on the problem or I could focus on the solution. And you just decided to focus on the solution. It's just like, okay, this is what it is. Cool. Let's just, let's just, let's just clean it up. Let's get right. it done. You know, I'm alive. Yeah. Uh, that's beautiful. Right. That's beautiful. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.